What's up? What's up? I only said it twice. I only said it twice. Oh, here's the third time. What is up, everybody? I'm just being me. Let's get to it. We're going to go shopping for 300 ZXs up in the Northeast. Uh, I asked you guys, somebody said New York area, Northeast. We're just going New York City and 100 miles around it. Facebook Marketplace. This is a couple deals. Now, this is like in that $15,000 range. Let's take a peek and see what's out there. I tried to find and you know as many decent twin turbos as possible first one it's a 1993 300 zx twin turbo fourteen thousand five hundred dollars now it's been listed for 16 weeks now supposedly it only has 4800 miles on it let's go down here um so it is a right hand drive it's imported that's the low mileage i'd be interested to see if that even actually even correct that seems really 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 low if it is that low it's a shame it looks like this so cx racing front mount intercooler nrg steering wheel see it's got less than 50,000 miles and you had to change the steering wheel some cheap shit nah, come on new tires and wheels the tire and wheels setup is extremely questionable new belts new transmission cooler she doesn't say this is oh it's an automatic transmission as well all right, well, this is a blue right-hand drive for $15,000 twin turbo. The bumper's super dated. The wheels are super questionable. And the pictures, shocker, they suck. But about $15,000 twin turbo, this one might be worth looking at, going to see what's going on. AC does not work, boys and girls. But you are in the Northeast, so it doesn't matter as much. But I don't know. Working AC, if you don't know, we just I just did two AC overhauls. One on my Lexus SC and then one on my Nissan 300ZX. It's work, but I think it's worth it. And not working AC makes the car like not collector grade worthy as far as I'm concerned. So that's just my two cents. You do whatever you want to do. This guy's looking for a C5 or C6 Corvette or a boost to a Mustang. I don't know. This is definitely a project car. I give it a C. C overall. Here's a 90 Nissan 200ZX 2 plus 2 coupe. Now this is a non-turbo, but it's a very clean car. It's $13,500. It's got 149,000 miles on it. It's another automatic transmission. It's got a bunch of stuff. New AC hoses. Interesting. New radiator hoses. I wonder why I have new AC hoses. Those don't tend to go bad unless they're damaged. New tint, new tires and alignment, headers. AC works great, that's good. It, lo it looks clean on the outside. He's got the replaced door lock actuator assembly. Nice, I actually need to do that on mine with the Z1 metals. Z1s are twice as expensive as the Concept Z, just FYI, guys. Looking specimen of 300ZX. I don't necessarily care for the wheels, but you do you. That bumper is... That's the twin Z bumper, you know, it's okay. It's okay. That's some interesting taillights. I don't even know what taillights those are. Aftermarket exhaust. That's probably that twin Z wing, which is pretty cool. Those taillights actually kind of work. They remind me of Z31 taillights. Kind of retro vibe on a retro car, super retro going back to the 80s. It's got cloth tweed interior. Actually looks like it's in good condition. Doesn't have the factory wheel, which some people like. I don't care for that. I would always rather have the factory wheel in there. Automatic transmission, uh, again, it's going to be a... This is an NA automatic with missing factory interior. There you go. That's what you get. This one's listed for 13000 I mean, you'd probably pick this up at ten. You have a nice, a nice little car. Nice, complete car. You're not going to be turbo and you're not going to be manual, but that's up to you. I'll actually rate this car a B. I won't give it an A because it's got like mismatched steering wheel. The lights are mismatched, let's be honest. It's got damage to the door panel there. Give this car a B give this car a B. All right, 92 300 ZX Turbo Coupe, $12,500. This is what I'm talking about, boys and girls. Let's see what it says. 92 300 ZX Twin Turbo Automatic, 92,000 miles. Uh, so far, this is my favorite one. $12,000 would trade for a truck or van. Don't care for those lights, just the all white lights. Not a huge fan, but it kind of works on the black. Aftermarket exhaust, the back is complete, looks good. Didn't even delete the, the win rear windshield wiper. Nice. I gotta update the lights. It looks like that light panel actually might light up. That's totally, totally custom uh, center section too. So, hey, you never know. Dated wheels, of course, there's the clear corner. It's got the flat nose panel. Nice, which I totally like that. It's a, it is a left-hand drive car. Uh, very clean on the exterior, no damage, no dings. It's not missing any clear coat. We've got some stereo equipment. We have got a 
very custom interior. Look, there's a cup holders. We've got uh, some reupholstered seats with uh, two-tone. Interesting. Interesting. And there you go. He's very proud of his stereo equipment. That looks like it's from 2005. And that's all the pictures we get on this. Interesting. This is like not a lot of information, but at the price is right. It's got very customized interior with the price and no pictures. We know nothing about the maintenance. It is twin turbo. Okay. For price and what you're getting, I'm going to give this a B. It's so hard to tell. I don't want to say C because we factor in the price on these marketplace ones and $12,000 twin turbo 300ZX is actually a pretty good deal right now. Now the interior looks super questionable and we don't know what underneath the hood is. So I'm just assuming those are blanks we don't really know. And I would tear out the stereo equipment instantly if this was my car. I'll give it a C plus. How about that? It's kind of a project car. We don't know a lot about it. If you were to buy this car, you would need to know. I'll give this a C plus. C plus. The price is right on this car. All right, here we go, boys. 1990 300ZX twin turbo coupe for $14,000. Now I think I've looked at this car. I think this car is a better deal. I think this is going to be the best deal so far. It's 14 grand. You know, that's only $2,000 more than the last one. And there's a lot of stuff on this car. Let me tell you, it does have higher mileage, 186,000 miles. Got the manual transmission. Now I'll tell you right now, if you were to go over and buy this guy right here for 12, five for 1500 more dollars, you can already have the manual transmission. I want to tell you, it's going to cost you more than $1,500 to do a manual transmission swap. Just FYI, make your money go further maybe a little bit more expensive up front but it's going to be a better deal for you overall testing the water is looking to look another person trying to buy a c5 corvette he's had this car for six years spent over 12 can parts it's got a bunch of stuff concept z z1 interior let's take a look at it um it's super white nice i don't care for the clear corner shocker though that's me it's got the flat nose panel but it is a 90 it's got full red interior the red interior is a rare people it's got the cheater holes for the top of the strut tower brace if it was me i would just uh, prefer that that wasn't there and the interior wasn't cut especially on red interior good luck finding replacement parts but at least it looks it's not all haggard little speaker boxes i guess in the back actually looks pretty good it's got the privacy shade in red I mean, red is, is rare. There's the motor out, painting everything red. You know, it's my favorite. So the engine's been gone through. I mean, this person's done maintenance. They care enough. Hopefully everything's back together right, but I kind of guess that it is. Oh God, proud of the red silicone. Oh, it's got the dual, the dual maths. This is twin turbo for $14,000. Doesn't have a radiator fan shroud, but for $150, you can go ahead and hook yourself up with one. Uh, can't tell what the AC, if that's a condenser or if that's just the radiator. If the AC is still in place and it doesn't run all up. Like, yeah, there's, I think that's AC line right there. So AC could be still in place, which is nice. No telling if it works. He spent a lot of money on red hoses. Hopefully he got his AC straightened out. Some new twin turbos. Those are beautiful boxes right there. Got them twin and twin twins. And yeah, some nice down pipes. So for $14,000, those headlights are a little, uh, I don't know about blue. For $14,000, I think this is the best bang for your buck. You got brand new turbos. It is twin turbo. It is a manual. It's got a lot of stuff done to it. I would change all that red silicone to black, but uh, overall, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Best bang for your buck so far. I give this car. I give this car a B for sure. This car got a B, like a strong B. Maybe even a B plus because the price is right, like fourteen thousand dollars. It's got brand new turbos. Those are two thousand dollars right there. It's got your manual transmission. I give this car a B plus. Not quite an A because it's got a bunch of bullshit under the hood and underneath in the back hatch, but it's a B. And he never shows the seats except for right there. And it says interior innovation, so it could be good. Give this car a B plus. Very nice. All right. This car, so now we're going to get a little bit cheaper. We're going back to the NA, but this one is a manual. 138,000 miles, $11,500. Super clean, no rust, drives great. Everything works as it should, except your pictures are garbage. But this is just a clean specimen in a five speed that somebody might like. If you're looking for that, the wing is the different color. But this is a good clean specimen of NA five speed that if that's what you're looking for, about $10,000, $12,000 range, negotiate on it. Interior does look very clean, does look very complete. It does have a lot of pictures, even though they're not great. Underneath the hood looks really good on this car. Passenger side cowl is broken. 
but he's got the radiator fan shroud throttle cable covers very nice there's your example i mean this car i think the price is a little high but overall the condition of this car is like an a i'll give this car another b another b i'm not in love with the price but you know it could be there for somebody. All right, here's a little bit of a bonus. Going to a 94 twin turbo for $5,000. What? Holler at your boy. Supposedly only has 75,000 miles on it. Supposedly has a manual transmission. But if we read down here, it's blown up. The motor's out of it. It's basically, this is a parts car for $5,000. Pretty expensive for a parts car. PM me if interest. Don't waste my time. These cars are going up in value. 300 ZXs are going up in value. This piece of shit ain't though. So it's totally tore apart. For $5,000, this is way too much. This car is totaled. That would easily total this car out. Not even counting the fact that uh, it's missing everything underneath the hood. I really want those seats. Hey man, I was just kidding. Now hook your boy up with those seats. At least that driver's side seat. I'm just kidding. Somebody pay this guy $5,000 to sell me that seat. Um, This is very interesting. Is that a f***ing TV screen in the back? I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on here. Interesting. Purple tent. Sitting on a farm. Horses are going to come get it. Look at the amount of cobwebs. There's be some. Who knows what spiders are going to find up in here, dude. Like, oh my god. This car needs parted out. Absolutely needs parted out. It's a shame that it only has 75,000 miles and this person's just letting it rot. I'll uh, still take those, that, those seats. Please, 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 please. I need a driver's side seat, somebody. For a decent price, I'm not, I don't want to pay 500 bucks. All right, there you go. I mean, this is an F, obviously, but uh, find out what he's got. He says he's got an engine, tore apart, I probably threw the belt, blew it up. Probably needs a lot of work. It's probably not worth $5,000, but uh, there you go. That one's an F. Sorry, boys. This one I just threw in for fun because it's beautiful. I'd rock something like this. It's listed as a 94 twin turbo 300ZX, but it's not. It's got 78,000 miles, automatic transmission. It is 17 grand. I would totally buy something like this and drive it up. It is a right-hand drive Nissan Cedric Gran Turismo Altima. Freaking beautiful luxury car from Japan. It does have a V6 single turbo VE. So what is it? A VG30 DET single turbo four speed automatic 255 horsepower. Uh, it's very cool. This is a very cool car. So um, it's, it's a very similar engine to the Nissan 300ZX. We'll just go through this really cool. I thought it was interesting. Of course it pulled up when I was looking at 300ZXs. And it's a cool rare specimen of a car. I would totally drive one of these. The price is pretty high up there, but uh, I don't know what the market is on these cars. I'm just gonna give this an A because it's complete. It looks cool. Mileage is low. It's really nice. There you go. This one's the ugly. All right. So this is uh, or our Z31 boys. And I just thought this was so insane. Let's take a look. Everybody have a good laugh at this piece of shit turbo z31 looks like it came off the set of mad max only has 130,000 miles manual transmission uh single turbo five speed manual gutted oh good oh man it has a blue timing belt guys don't worry it has a blue timing belt aftermarket t3 t4 go fast tractor turbo what aftermarket tractor turbo nice fuel pressure regulator just a bunch of stuff three thousand dollars let's take a look at it. this is wild dude this is like that awesome boco or whatever that shit is it's got the mean old exhaust coming out He's just leaning into how ugly this car is, you know? I don't think he's trying to make it look cool. I think he's just leaning into how ugly it is. There you go, boys and girls. This is for your Z31. Those are the pictures that we got. I'm not even gonna rate this thing. You can do it to yourself. If you watch this far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have a car that we need to look at or an area, make sure and hit me up in the comments or whatever down below. You have a 300ZX you wanna see get rated? Uh, check the description down below for an email address where you can send that to a couple pictures short description i'm gonna throw up a couple more playlists one where we rate your subscriber cars and number two is where we shop for more 300 zx's on marketplace thank you so much i'll see you over there peace nice